Hi everyone and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is the universe trying to communicate with you. So what signs and synchronicities are the universe, um, is the universe trying to send to you? What messages does the universe want to reach you? It is going to be a general reading so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and let's begin the reading. And before I do, I just like to mention that if you've clicked on this reading, I do believe there's a message in here that's meant for you. Perhaps it's going to validate something for you on your end. It might even clarify some things for you, or it just might sort of make a little bit sense of what's going on with you right now, whether emotionally or, um, you know, externally. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, I can definitely see that some of you have been receiving a lot of like signs, a lot of synchronicities, reoccurring dreams. <clears throat> You've been coming across someone's name, I feel like being constantly mentioned, or you're constantly hearing or seeing a particular word, a name, um, a phrase even. These are all messages from the universe. The good news is if you have been paying attention and if you've been noticing, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. If you have been noticing these signs and synchronicities, it's a clear indicator to us that you are in flow with the universe, the cosmic flow here. So for a lot of you, I feel like um, you're being the universe is trying to communicate that you're on the right track. OK, so you're on the right track here. Um, you're doing what you have to do to get to where you need to go. Um, you're on the right path to finding the one, to finding your soulmate or a twin flame connection here. Um, some of you, I feel like the reason why you're uh, also you're encountering these synchronicities is because I feel like those signs are sort of they're letting you know that you're fostering a lot of personal growth and a lot of spiritual development right now in your life here. So you have to, I feel like it's important for you to learn to read the signs okay because some of you the universe is trying to communicate um, a lot to you and the thing is the universe is always communicating with us but they the universe has very personal very intimate relationships with uh, relationships and conversations with each one of us so they're not just coincidences or if you do want to see them as that then see them as meaningful coincidences because i do feel like the universe is trying to help you. It's trying to make sure that you're going in the right direction, okay? And when you're not necessarily going in the di right direction, that's when your intuition might kick in and you might these you might get these intuitive nudges like something might feel wrong or something might just not add up or something doesn't feel right, doesn't sit right with you. Listen to that, okay? Make sure you always listen to your intuition and probe your feelings here. Um, some of you, you could potentially be blocking, okay? So the universe could be trying to communicate certain messages to you, but you could potentially be blocking those messages. And therefore, um, because you're not receiving them, the universe might be sending you constantly the same reoccurring message, but in a different format. It could come in a dream. It could come in symbols, synchronicities, numbers, names, okay? So that's when the universe is uh, very persistent and very determined to try and get that message to reach you here. So some of you specifically, I feel like you're being guided onto the right path, okay? Um, for instance, some of you might be in a relationship and you might be questioning, you might have a bit of a, um, 
an indecisive energy towards this person. You might be a little bit emotionally uncertain or unclear about whether this is the right person or whether this is the right um, connection or if it's the right relationship for you here. Listen to your intuition, okay? If your intuition is telling you if, if it feels right, it probably is. If it feels wrong, it probably is as well. So I feel like some of you are being told you're on the right path and that means that if your intuition tells you that hey this this feels great this feels good okay then it must mean that it's a good thing if your intuition says hey something doesn't feel right here then that must mean you know that that may not be the best thing so i feel like the law of attraction is also working around you as well right and i feel like the reason some of you keep seeing the same numbers or you keep meeting someone new but for instance their phone number might repeat certain um, might repeat a particular number here or you might see the same animal again and again um, for those of you who have been seeing animals here I feel like it represents a need for a change in your life okay like a, a complete change a complete like do over um, For others of you, I feel like there are certain certain signs or certain symbols, synchronicities of the universe is sending you. I'm seeing that it's triggering certain thoughts or feelings here. And those certain thoughts or feelings are linked to a current situation or a current life choice or decision in your life. It could be linked to a romantic energy, a past energy. It could be linked to a current energy here. It could be linked to an emotional pattern or behavioral pattern that you have. And it might not necessarily be serving you in a positive way. And this is why the universe wants to help you out a little bit. Okay. Um, you'll kind of have to use your imagination though. Okay. When it comes to interpreting those signs and interpreting those symbols you're going to have to use your imagination because you're not all the same okay and you do not all have the same journey you're not all dealing with the same experiences you're not all dealing with the same emotions or the same energies here so those messages are personal to you but just some of the messages that i do get for some of you and it might resonate is that some of you you are on the right track okay some of you you're absolutely headed on the right track you're moving in a positive direction a new direction some of you have been involved with the wrong one or you might be involved with the wrong right wrong, the wrong one right now gosh that I couldn't get that out but the wrong one is going to put you onto the path of the right one others of you you have a past connecting energy coming into your life or there is someone here who i feel like is going to this person could just suddenly reach out and connect with you completely out of the blue or this is someone whom you may still have feelings for that and those feelings despite the time and distance between you those feelings haven't dissolved and they haven't just gone away uh, that that's the universe here trying to communicate something to you about a particular energy about a past energy that there may be unfinished business there or that this person you may have a soul contract with this person and therefore you're eternally you know um, tied to one another um, some of you I feel like you have met there is a validation or a confirmation of you having met your twin flame and a lot of you I feel like I mean I'm sure you'd know this by now but twin flames are very different to soulmates there is no that there's no soul contract with the twin flame and when you do encounter twin flame experience it is intense the feelings are off the chart here um, a lot of dop dopamine hits um, you do feel like you're high as a kite you do feel like you know you've got love on your brain you, you just it's emotional intensity it's overwhelmment it, it can feel like a drug it can feel very addictive obsessive consuming intoxicating here but twin flame connections um, they're absolutely important for our personal growth okay and they teach us things they push us outside of our comfort zones they push past our boundaries here they teach us things about ourselves, about other people, the world around us. They teach us things that we need to learn on our journey. And twin flames don't always, we don't always end up with our twin flames. In fact, a lot of the times they do what they have to do and they move on here. Okay, they teach us something, we teach them something. It's a fair exchange. So some of you, you are dealing with a twin flame connection, but it's, it's not that it's not going to end well. It's just that it, it feels like it's coming to an end. Okay, that person has put you through a lot. 
but if you take the time to pause and think about it you've also learned so much from this that otherwise had they not entered your life you put it you probably wouldn't have learned some of you i can see that you keep seeing reminders right you keep seeing reminders of a certain person or a certain romantic connection a certain romantic energy but it feels like it's from the past now these synchronicities that you're receiving okay because that's what they are they're actually linked directly to this individual or to this particular energy okay it doesn't always necessarily indicate a reconnection okay it can but not always um, sometimes the synchronicities can point you to an ex or an old flame or someone whom like an old fling that you far flung okay but it can also point it can also suggest that you might need to work through some of those old feelings that you might have for that particular person um, okay or you know whether there are feelings of love hurt pain or rejection um, so it's up to you to really try and interpret the messages to sort of suit your narrative because I feel like noticing and reflecting these feelings that a particular person might trigger in you is probably the key to interpreting these kind of synchronicities okay um, for those of you that are prone to receiving like uh, symbols visually so for example there can be animal objects visual patterns um, dreams as well Um, and I feel like try and keep a notepad or try and keep a bit of a journal or beside like close to yourself um, and jot down these potential signs because I feel like all of these um, symbols and signs are definitely noteworthy and I feel like they point to something very personal in your life here so it might be fairly obvious at first but it's not always the most obvious choice here or it's not almost the, it's not always the most obvious uh, meaning I feel like the reason why you're receiving all of these um, synchronicities and symbols all these messages from the universe right now is um, I feel like you're ready you're in a place where you're either ready to start uh, a new adventure with someone you're ready to start a new cycle a new chapter you're ready to let go of the past you're ready to put yourself onto a new path whether it's love whether it's career um, whether it's a spiritual path you're ready for a journey um, you know for an adventure here but I also feel like it's I just want to mention that it's very important that any pay very close attention to any intuitive associations that you get with the messages here okay so any intuitive messages that you receive between the symbols between the particular emotions the experiences that you've had with around a person or around a certain situation because um, I feel like that's going to be very insightful and very telling here like for instance some of you might have even recently met strangers who have given you some very good advice or you might be really overwhelmed because several opportunities presented to you all at once here okay um, or some of you are trying to pursue a really successful career path and you might meet okay if you haven't yet you might meet a mentor he, he, a mentor who's going to offer you like a a networking event that i feel like is going to possibly boost your resume or add to your um network here okay but i feel or you might even see continuous like adverts advertisements for courses or for training so this is this is the universe's way of trying to move you okay it's trying to usher you in that direction and it's trying to because it's trying to tell you that you're ready to move you're ready to move in that direction you're ready to move towards fulfilling your true purpose your true life path okay for others of you I just before I let you go I want to um, I want to talk about if you feel like you're not experiencing or you're not receiving signs of synchronicities okay if you feel like you're not receiving them what's going on um, or if you feel like you can't really remember time when you've seen any of these signs it's not that there's something wrong with you okay so dismiss that it's not but I just feel it, it is a it's usually a common problem and you're not the only one okay you're not the only one listening to this who hasn't experienced any signs symbols synchronicities reoccurring dreams thoughts number patterns here um, it might be that you're personally struggling to just find to find those um, 
find those messages here okay or to realize that uh, they are truly meaningful you might just be dismissing them as coincidences like we spoke in the beginning okay um, or it could be that you you may be strongly internalizing a message and you're not open to other interpretations of a particular message so one thing that you can do to sort of increase your ability to receive communication receive messages from the universe is to sort of challenge yourself to at least find maybe once a week start with once a week and see how you go um because the the universe it's important for us to understand that the universe is always trying to communicate with us it's you know messages are trying to reach us they're all around us here they're even pointing us towards minor as well as sorry minor minor as well as major life changes here okay um, they're trying to, you know, pull us away from choices that aren't good for us and push us to wait towards choices that are good for us here. So try and really make it a mission to really tune into your synchronicities and probe your feelings for any intuitive associations that you get with those synchronicities. Like just to give you an example, if you keep seeing, if you keep hearing the same name, okay, if you keep hearing your ex's name or your current romantic energy understand that you probably might be in a in a deep vibrational alignment with this person or the universe may feel like there may be a possible reconnection between the universe uh, between you and this person or you might still have some old feelings stored for this person that need to be worked through okay so really see if you can use your intuitive associations because your the way you interpret the message is going to be very different to how you know the next person interprets them the, the message and so it should be because it's your own personal narrative right so there's a strong link between the law of attraction between synchronicities between signs um and i feel like at the end of the day if you're noticing more and more these signs and these synchronicities it's actually a very good indication that you may be shifting and you may be moving to a higher vibrational frequency and that you're evolving into a much more truer and fulfilled version of yourself here um, it also could be confirmation that you're manifesting your goals you're manifesting a romantic energy you're manifesting someone back into your life um, you if you are deciding to pursue a new career um, and if you keep seeing these synchronicities it could very well be the universe encouraging you to keep heading in that direction so at the end of the day it's the universe supporting you supporting your goal it's the universe trying to manifest helping you manifest and attract the right people situation and circumstances into your life here yeah. so try and really pay attention to the signs recognize and learn to read the signs because they're going to be so helpful in how you continue to live your life and um it's, it's like clear if you try and really detect and interpret them the faster you do the faster you'll be able to manifest your goals your dreams your desires all right guys so thank you as always for watching and listening i do believe there has been some helpful messages for you um if you're interested in a personal reading please feel free to reach out and inquire um otherwise again thanks for your time and attention it is greatly appreciated thank you guys for all of your support um, and I will be catching up with you later in the week. Bye for now.